A homemade quilt evokes thoughts of warmth, comfort, and family history. We have an example in the Kentucky Historical Society collection that takes us down a darker path. This is a handmade quilt. It is made of cotton and calico fabrics. It was made by Elizabeth Roseberry Mitchell in 1843. And what this quilt depicts is uh, a basic quilt design, but if you look around the perimeter of the quilt, you're gonna see coffins. And these coffins, are they're made of cotton fabric, but there are paper labels on each one that signify um, one of Elizabeth's relatives. And if you move into the center of the quilt, you'll see that there is a path with a fence on either side and in the center is a graveyard. And so what she used this quilt for was a way to process her grief and mourning customs in the family um, after two of her young children passed away. But the, the piece is a great example of um, 19th century mourning customs tradition, acknowledging death and mortality and how real it was to these people. It wasn't going to a funeral home and that death to a certain extent now is disconnected from home. But for Elizabeth, this is something she's experiencing. She's seen two of her children pass away and this quilt is an outlet for her to memorialize her children and also to acknowledge her own mortality. A quilt like this is extremely rare. We have nothing like it in the collection. I haven't seen anything else like this anywhere else. Rare, yes, and the subject might seem a bit odd today, but a great example from many days gone by of a mother capturing her family history with the storytelling device at hand, quilt making. To learn more about the graveyard quilt at the Kentucky Historical Society, visit our online archive at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug High.